What's going on, everybody? How you doing? We are on track five. Rush test for echo. This is time and motion. Okay. Yeah. After that lyric debacle or whatever, whatever happened on that last track, I don't even, I don't even, I'm still just like, what happened? What was that song? I don't know. Anyways, if you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wish list, mailing address, and I do donation request videos. So if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, a question, anything, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. In the notes section, leave a description, leave a link, let me know what you want the video to be on, and I will make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. That's in the description. Thank you to everybody. Okay, Time in Motion originated from a set of lyrics that Peart had written after which Lee and Lifeson worked on music for it, which developed quickly. They wanted to dramatize the first lyrical phrase by incorporating major chords, but Lee said a first version of the track was put together some years prior but never used. Okay. Man, I feel like words are just like going over my head today or or just these past two. I don't even know what's happening. Mm. <laughs> I feel very uh, uh, not in touch, <laughs> not not connected. All right. Anyways, time and motion. Let's check this out. Bam. Yeah.
Okay. This is probably the most interesting song on the record that I've heard so far. For sure. It, it started out, it sounds kind of like dark and ominous almost. Like, which is interesting because they were saying, uh, what did they say? Want to dramatize the first lyrical phrase by incorporating major chords? I don't know. I just heard dark, ominous, <laughs> you know, kind of like looming, something like that. I wasn't crazy about the like when they were going back and forth between the heavy and the lighter section. I liked e each section individually, actually. I wish that they would have like laid on the light section more. But they just kept on like going back and forth and I don't know, I wasn't as crazy about that. But by far, this is the most interesting song on the record to me thus far on first listen. And thank God, because after that last song, which I don't even know what happened during that last song, I need to hear it again. I'm like, OK, cool. We got something here. <laughs> we got something here. Lots of interesting stuff on, on this one. All this stuff I need to hear again. But this one right off the bat is definitely the most interesting song on the record thus far definitely interested to hear it again all right what do we got next we got um totem is up next yep i'll be here for that catch you in the next video